What's up, everybody? This is Carl from Tech for Goodies, and today we are looking at a triple screen laptop screen extender. Now, this isn't just a standard laptop screen extender. This is one that you can use with your laptop and will hook onto your laptop screen and extend your laptop screen out with a monitor on the right and on the left. What I want to do in this video is to show you what comes in the box, how to set it up and use it with your laptop, and there are very important tips in this setup process that you need to make sure you're aware of so that when you do get this product, you're able to set it up successfully. As far as the product itself, it is a triple laptop screen extender. You can see the picture here on the front. It is the S3. As far as some of the features, they are both 14-inch monitors, both 1080p, so that's full HD, both 60 hertz and a thousand to one contrast ratio. That just basically means that the blacks look blacker and the colors look more vibrant against that black color, okay? In the box, what you need to know is that it comes with the actual device itself. It comes with a USB-A to USB-C cable, two of them, two USB-C to USB-C cables, and an HDMI to Type-C cable. So let's open it up and take a look at those and you'll understand why there's so many cables provided with a device like this. I think it's very important that they provide all the different options for you to be able to hook up because not everyone's laptop is the same. So in the box, first off, you're gonna be greeted with the actual carrying case. So this is the carrying case that they give you and it's very nice that they give you this because if you wanna carry this around in your backpack or in a travel bag, or if you wanna use this as your travel bag, you can do so. Also in the box is the user guide, but most importantly is the quick start guide that they have here. I think one of the most important things you need to pay attention to, as well as watching this video, is the fact that there are different kinds of USB-C ports, and there's different kinds of ways to hook up the monitors. And that's very important when trying to make a decision whether or not your laptop will work with this. So as I mentioned, there are a bunch of cables here. I'll pull them all out and then we'll go over them later when we hook this up and test out the monitor itself. Okay, so bringing out the device itself, you'll see that it is very nice looking. It's got a, it's got a good heft to it. And I think that's because obviously there's two monitors. Um, it has sort of a carbon fiber outside, it comes with a small little Velcro strap. And that basically allows you to sort of obviously keep it together and keep it secure when you're traveling. But if we go ahead and open it up, you'll see that it has not only one, but two wide 14 inch monitors. As well as the two monitors on the side, you also have this middle panel, which is designed to basically fit between a 13 and a 17 inch monitor. Based on your monitor, you can open this up, close it down, and it'll hook to the back of your screen. On the back of the device also, you'll see that it has a kickstand. So why is this kickstand important? So what this allows you to do is basically open it up and give your laptop a little extra support. Some laptops are very strong in the hinges that they have, and some actually are a little weaker. So the heft of this device may cause your laptop screen to sort of slide open or hinge open further than you want. This just gives you a little bit extra support to be able to support all the device while you're working without fear of something falling over and getting broken. So as a quick overview of sort of like the external features of this, you'll see on the top here that you do have kind of a rocker switch on both monitors. And the thing to remember is that you can kind of treat each one of these monitors as individual standalone monitors. They're not hooked together, they're not dependent on each other, so you'll find out why later why that's super important and super flexible for you to be able to use different devices at different times. But each one of them has this rocker switch here, which will control things like the menu, the brightness, all those kind of things that you typically can control with a monitor through all the different separate buttons. This will give you access to that. On the monitors themselves, each one of them has three USB plugs. Now, it's gonna be a little difficult to see just because I'm not sure if the lighting and the camera will show up here, but there is a Type-C number one port, a Type-C number two port, and an HDMI port. That's gonna be important later because you wanna make sure that you hook these cables up to the right ports depending on what your use purpose is. So let me go ahead and grab my laptop. We'll get this set up. My goal is to show you it in the overhead camera 
show you how to set it up and get it hooked up and working based on your situation. Okay, so I have my laptop set up here. This is a standard Dell laptop. The thing that you need to make sure that you look for on your laptop is whether or not it has one of these ports. What you'll need to make sure is that you have a USB-C port on your computer that is fully functional. A fully functional USB-C port means that it supports power delivery and video at the same time. Now, you only need one because if you also have an HDMI, coming out of your laptop. You can also use the HDMI, but I'll show you that in a little bit. You can also have a Thunderbolt 3 or a Thunderbolt 4 port. Those are also full featured ports that support power delivery. So if you look here on the side of my machine specifically, and it's very, very small, I'll see if I can get it focused up here. There is a USB-C drive with a little lightning symbol um, next to it, okay? So it's very simple to do. We have all of our cables here. Open it up, stretch it out to meet the dimensions of your laptop. Push it closed so that it kind of cinches up to your laptop. Pull open the kickstand and then slowly tilt your monitor back till you have it at the right level for use. So it is gonna be a little harder to see from the top down camera just because I don't have a lot of desk space, but we'll get it done. And then what do you wanna do is you wanna take a look at these cables. So they provide two USB-C to USB-C cables here. So that's gonna go from your the product to your laptop. And if you had two full featured USB-C ports, you could use both of these cables to power and provide video to the screens themselves. Like I said, I only have one. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this. And they conveniently put this little sticker on here that says, please connect this port to our product, okay? So it does have an L-shaped connector here. So I'm gonna simply just bring this to the side and I'm gonna plug this into the top port of the screen itself and then plug it into my laptop. And then immediately we should start to see the laptop recognize the screen and now it's set up. So it's that, it literally is that simple. Because that USB-C port provides power and video signal, this monitor is good to go. So right now uh, it's showing a cloned screen. That's the default behavior in Windows. So I'm gonna right mouse click on the display settings and you can see here that one and two are both cloned. I'm gonna go ahead and scroll down here just a little bit and instead of duplicating these displays, I'm going to extend. So what that does if we slide back up here is that you'll see I have a number one and a number two monitor, which is I have two monitors here. So if I click identify, you'll see that one is here and two is there, but that's in a different orientation than what I want. In Windows, it's very easy to take number two which is my external screen over here. Simply click and drag it to the left and hit apply. Now, when I take my mouse from this screen over here, or if I take a window and drag it over here, it'll seamlessly go, seamlessly go across this little division between the screens. Now, once again, what I said before was that if I had two fully functional USB-C ports on here, I could just go ahead and hook this other monitor up and I'm good to go. But that's not the case in, this, in, my, in the case of my laptop. So in, my, in the case of my laptop, I'm gonna use HDMI. What they do is they provide an HDMI cable, and this is a very special cable. It is an HDMI to USB-C, okay? Now, the biggest problem with the HDMI protocol is that it's able to provide power, but not enough power for most devices. It's very, very minimal power. Even my Amazon Fire TV, can't plug into HDMI and just be powered by that. I have to externally power it. So you can think of it in terms of sending the video signal through this to the device, and then also adding another cable that provides power in order to be able to actually be able to turn the device on. So I have an HDMI port on the side of my laptop here that I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into if I can plug it in the right direction. I'm gonna bring this around the back, and again, when I showed you earlier, and again, this is a little hard to see, but the bottom one, if you look very closely, says HDMI on it. Now, that's the ports that's specifically for the HDMI. Don't plug into the other two because it won't work. So I'm gonna go ahead and plug it into the HDMI port here. And once I do that, you'll notice that it does not turn on. And again, that's because we haven't provided power. So conveniently, they provide a USB-C to a USB-A. So if you see here on one side, there's USB-A and there's USB-C. Now, the obvious thing to do at this point in time is to use your computer to give that extra power through a USB port. So I have a USB port on the side here. I'll hook it up, bring it around, and I'm gonna go ahead and plug this into the top port, okay? So what that does 
If I slide this back open, make sure everything here is hooked up, it's now working. So what you see is that I have the one on the left side here running just straight from the full-featured USB-C port, and one on the right running from the HDMI port with additional power. Now that additional power is actually noted right here that you need an external five volt, two amp power adapter, okay? So that's what USB-A on your laptop is able to provide. But if you didn't want to do that, you could also use an external power brick, you know, similar to something that we're all used to in order to provide that power. It's up to you on how you want to do that, but you do need to provide that extra power if you're using HDMI. So let's take a look here. Since I already set this up originally to be extended displays, this third one comes in already as an extended display. I'm gonna hit identify and you'll see one, two, and three. And on my layout, two, one is in the middle, two is on the left, and three is on the right. So that's what I want. So if I go ahead and drag this little screen over to the right, it's over on the right screen. And to the left, it's over on the left screen. So now I have an incredible setup here with two extra monitors, a main monitor in the middle, and I'm able to basically be, I guess, three times as productive based on how well you work, of course. Now, the thing that I absolutely love about this whole setup is that, like I said before, each one of these monitors really just can be considered an external monitor. Even though it has the whole device to be able to hook onto your machine, you're just not limited to using it on your machine. Let's say that I have a tablet or my phone or a Switch or a Steam Deck or something that supports either HDMI out or USB video out, I can go ahead and use it on here. So since I have this side hooked up with HDMI, I'll go ahead and use my iPhone with the USB-C interface to go ahead and hook up to this side. With one of the other cables that they provided, which is very nice, I'll go ahead and hook it up and I will plug in my phone, okay? Once I plug in my phone, I can use the rocker button here that they provided and I can click it down once and go into the menu. If I go to the bottom one here and I go to signal source, I can then change from HDMI to type 1C. And once I do that, now my phone shows up on the monitor itself. So now I have two devices hooked up to this one. I have the HDMI from the laptop and I have this. So if I wanted to play games or if I wanted to have a video playing while I was working on these two, I can do that. Let's say I wanted to watch sports or want to watch golf, streaming from a different device, I can do that. So that works 100% perfect. And again, if I wanted to switch back, I just use the rocker button here, go to the signal source and switch back to HDMI. And I'm back to my computer. Now think about this. On this side, what do I have hooked up? I have, I have USB-C hooked up, okay? That means that the HDMI is completely free. If I was using USB-C on both of these um, and I had my HDMI cable left over, I can go ahead and hook it up through HDMI. So like, for example, if I had a switch and it has a dock, typically that dock will have HDMI out. Then I could go ahead, use the rocker button, switch over to HDMI and play my switch. So across the board, this is like a productivity machine, right? And there's so many ways to do it. Here's the recap that I want you to make sure to remember. Check your USB-C port, make sure it's an appropriate USB-C port. One will run off USB-C and one will run off of HDMI. Or if you have two full functional USB-C ports, it can run both of them. So hopefully this is super helpful for you to make your decision and also to help you understand exactly how to hook these up because sometimes it might get confusing, but this video should help you out. But until next time, this is Carl from Tech for Goodies and I'm out.